Alrighty guys, so welcome back to my channel today and we are doing the Sims 4 Vampire Game Pack Gameplay video. So I, if you guys don't know, today I released like two videos already. I was like, you know what? I want to do a gameplay video because why not? I love it so, so much. And I just want to kind of experience like the, the fully grown vampire skills because that's pretty much what we can kind of do anyway. So it's like, you know what? Let me go ahead and experience vampires to the full extent and kind of see what they are like and see what their pairs are like. So the first things first, it's like flipping like 9 a.m. in the morning. And they're going to like literally burn live. But so basically the... First and foremost, I want to start off with this little thing right here. For the, I want to like kind of select a new aspiration. So for the aspiration for the vampire family, the it says like the basics become a vampire, of course. And two, have a have a power, purchase the vampire creation power, and become a minor vampire. Not I am not alone. So become a pro, a prime vampire, train three offspring, convert five sims to the fully grown vampires in a new family. A good fr good friends with five 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 offspring. And become a, a master vampire. So basically it has this aspiration and these are the milestones. And then for the knowledge one, master vampire basics and all the other stuff right here, you can actually learn on your own. And then the ancient one, read the ultimate vampire to become a, ma a grand master vampire. Survive for an additional, additional 20 days as a vampire. What, what do you mean? What do you mean? I don't know. I want to experience that too so badly. But then we have the popularity one and it says good vampires. So the transformation. Use the, a computer to search for information on vampires. Become a vampire. Reach vampire lore level three. Cope with temptation. Drink plasma packs. Uh, make five friends. Don't drink t deeply for five days in a row. Oh my gosh. Drink. <laughs> reach vampire lore level four and make good two friends. Get permission to drink from two different sims. Purchase the t the tame thirst power, and then it says create three plasma packs from fish or frogs. Oh, that's pretty new. Make a BFF drink. Don't drink without permission for fourteen days in a row. Harvest the plasma fruit tree three times. So there is actually a new um a harvestable that we can actually harvest ourselves for our very own convenience. So that is pretty nice to know. And it looks like this is the plasma fruit. Nope. No, it's the wild wolf ban flower that we can it's actually a new flower we can actually harvest which is something that is, i'm pretty happy about along with the what else what else what else um it's also a new flower nope there's something else okay well that's pretty new that's i like it but anywho i really love this game pack so much i cannot express how much i love it but the uncomfortable says burning um despise sun resistance being being in the sun even though there is some protection from the sun it still burns <laughs> So true, so true. But let's gonna go ahead and go inside because I want to go and show you guys all of the gameplay features and everything like that. So let's gonna have. Ooh, I want to run. I want to run in there. Let, let's run. Let's let's just run. Okay, my, sim, my sim's gonna run. Oh, oh, oh look, at, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Oh my gosh! Look at that little stream right there. That's pretty cool. Where's she, where the heck is she going? Oh, don't view that. Go go inside, little lady. No. St Stop, stop, thank you. I like how I like how they run fast so bad. It's so cool and now they're all fine and happy. So I'm gonna gonna have one of the little families here. So Caleb Vator. So this is actually one of the um the vampires that you saw in the trailer and also this other sim as well. So yeah, that's like one of the other pre-made vampires that are actually on the gallery, I believe. So that's an I really think that's cool. And also, there's actually a new skill called the Pipe Organ Skill that you can actually learn as another skill on your own. For this cooking, I know there's a garlic you can actually, that vampires cannot actually have. So, let me go ahead and see if they can bake or cook anything new. No, let's just look at any new dishes technically, just yet. But, um, I know we can actually use plasma quick meal. But I want to go and show you guys the deep meditation, the vampire meditation little thing right here. So dark, med dark meditation, um, show dark form or enable vampire. Oh, ooh, let's do dark meditation. Actually, I'm going to show you guys what that is about. So with this, your sins basically kind of float in midair and kind of 
they kind of like have a little uh, meditation going on and they do actually gain somewhat of a reward. I'm not really sure if they do, but with the vampires, they actually have different moodlets technically. So with the moodlets, you have the vampire energy, they have thirst, socialization, hygiene, and then fun. These three are pretty much normal anyway, so. But for the vampire energy, it says vampires use vampire energy to perform powers and protect themselves from harsh rays of the sun. Recover vampire energy by sleeping or using dark meditation. And then the thirst, it says vampires do not get thirsty very often, but be sure to drink from sims or eat plasma fruit that when they do. Otherwise, they might attra attack a nearby sim without warning. Oh my lord. But what I really, really love, these vampires have powers. And with powers come with really, really cool things. Like, this is so flippin' um, I love this. I literally love this. So, vampire powers. Obtaining more powers with more consequences. Well, obtaining more powers will have some consequence consequences. Um, select weaknesses as you gain a, a strength. So what I really love, it says detect personality, also bat form, you also have, um, cast hypnosis hallucinations, you also have internally welcoming, and then you also like, oh, ooh, oh my gosh, I love it. Ooh, a stomach, oh, I want to go ahead and, because we already have this one already, but as you get higher and higher into your power points, you can get more vampire points, they only go up to this point right here, but I think once you actually get everything here, you can get Eternal Sadness, or you can also get an Undead Aurora, so Conflict with the Vampire Friend of the Charm. Okay, not, oh, so there's, there must be more if you scroll, I think once you unlock everything over here, you actually get more skills up here. So, Immortal Pleasures, you also get Tame Thirst, Beyond the Herd, Mist Form, and then influence emotion so it says gain power to teleport anywhere as a cloud of mist oh that's pretty nice um socialized need does not decrease anymore so that's pretty good if you want to have like a non-socialized sim what is this undo changes oh that's pretty cool and then right here it says um fingling vampire you have minor vampire prime vampire master vampire and then the top level is grand vampire to the higher extent so this is the, pretty much the higher points you can get there but right now my sim does not really have any points to do so we're gonna go ahead and show dark form and what's this it has the animation there and this is the vampire's dark form and might i say might i say this sim is by far the best sim i've ever seen in my entire life like they show their dark form and it's kind of cool it really does and with these moodlets it says dark energy from dark meditation the mo the mode of concentration wait, yeah concentration achieved through dark meditation taps into the vampire's internal dark energy converting into it into more of a useful vampire van vamp vampiric energy huh that's pretty nice okay that is nice to know there. So I want to try and see if they have actually any other, um, I'm not really sure they have any like other new skills, but I want to see what, what bar drinks they can actually do. So I'm going to go and make a drink. Let's see what they have here. Okay. So I'm not, not really sure I'm seeing anything new here. No, I'm not really seeing anything new for the drinks, but I do want to go ahead and head out, even though it's like kind of, it's kind of like morning time and we can end up probably dying from it but i do want to go ahead and go over here and i'm actually that's gonna have you actually want to en enable your vampiric run so i'm going to enable that stop being a vampire stop so she's going to enable this so she can actually do the run so now while that's enabled, she is very, very energized right now. We're going to go over here to Mila Munch because she's a little Milo Munch. And I don't like her. We're going to go over here and actually go ahead and do the vampire right here. And we're going to drink her plasma. So we're going to compel for a small drink. Ooh, we're going to compel her to do it for, for a small drink. I cannot wait. She stops right here. And she, oh my gosh, she runs. She runs. Look, the, oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, snap. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. This bird's like, peace out. I'm getting the heck out of here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're compelled. She's not compelled. Oh, my powers, not my powers aren't working. Oh my gosh. We have to do it without command. Drink plasma. Compel for what? We're not oh heck no. Um, no. I want to drink her blood anyway. So turn into a vampire. Let's just do that. We're not going to compel her for a small plasma drink. We're going to turn to a vampire. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, hey. Hi. 
But yeah, so I really do love this a lot. So basically, we're just kind of waiting to see what happens next. She's just kind of sitting out here, not really burning a lot. Okay, you can stop trying to compel her, drink her plasma, whatever. Okay, you can stop. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's like, oh, wait. Oh, resist me to drink form. Oh no. No, we're going to command to sit. We're going to do some hip. Okay, so we hate the sunlight so much. Okay, wait, who can we go? Wait, Jeffrey Landgrab. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Landgrab is the perfect sim to turn into a vampire. So we're going to go ahead and turn him into a vampire real quick. Because I want to see what that is all about there. Let's go ahead and go to Jeffrey Landgrab real quick. See if we're going to run, 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 run. So it seems like with the vampire energy, the mo the thing goes actually go down a lot more. Wait, why are we still over? Why? Oh, so he now can pluck from inspiration. Nice to know from the pipe organ. Jeffrey Landgrab, if you don't get your little butt over here, come on. Let me suck your blood. Turn to a vampire. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm, I'm missing it. I'm missing it. I'm missing it. I'm missing everything. Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is so cool. I, I don't want to do it in the nighttime because it's like, why not? I love this. Oh, what? <gasps> oh no. So I'm guessing if you don't have like a high enough like vampire point skills up in your area, you won't able to compel other people to suck their blood. That's something that I never thought that would happen. So, so I guess we have to like boost up our power points. That's something that we do really need to do. So right now it says, okay, so your ability to track and seduce other sims have grown beyond mere charm on full allure. So we can't do that until we actually get another tier to do that to basically hypnotize other sims. Okay, so that is that is very very new to me that I really thought that would we were able to, like kind of, be be able to like hypnotize other Sims, right like right away as a vampire. But no, we have to basically kind of do that better. So right now I want to go and do a friendly interaction towards this Sim right here, even though we are currently burning and we have our little we're using our vampire energy, which makes no sense. Okay, you can stop that. We need to have you. Oh, it's gonna be a Sim right here, a Sim. Yes, it is. Okay, I'm going to actually talk to him because he's, since he's the closest. Since he's the closest right now. Oh, he's right here. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and talk to him real quick. Do a friendly introduction. Hey, Clara. How's it going? Clara, you want to talk to me? No? Oh, okay. No, she does not want to talk to me. Okay. Well, I want to show you guys the interactions towards vampire to vampire real quick. So we're going to go ahead and do our little run over here. I'm not sure how you do the... The bat form, though? Not really sure until you do that. So we're going to show off our power. So, brother, you can get off the organ if you so odd, please. So we're going to show off. So please show off your powers to me, brother. Oh, here they go. Here they go. It's like, yeah, yeah. It's like, ah, okay, okay. Ooh, hypnotization. So basically, vampires can show off their vampire powers towards each other. Which is pretty, pretty cool. Which I honestly, honestly do love. So after that, they have the offer to turn. They also do have some other stuff right here. They can request vampire training. So they are not at a high enough skill to do that right now. Or drink plasma. So they can brood about being a vampire. They can also, for the friendly interactions, they can also... F so with the... Okay, with this vampire game pack, and you're a vampire... With the interactions, it will show like a bat little icon what your vampires can do to vampires. So like that's gonna be really cool. So a vampire to vampire conversation is something that you can actually do. So we're gonna discuss a plasma of like what is your favorite plasma flavor? So they're good friends. Good to know, good to know. We can also go ahead and gossip about ancient vampires, about their father or their grandmother or their ancient ancestors or whatever they so please. And we also can do Visionary Snare. We can also, oh, look at that, look at that, fangs. I love it, I love it. And then we also can show off our powers and then, what else, where the heck are they going? Why are you going outside? Oh, if they're gonna go outside, then go outside, I don't care. What are you doing? Oh, a Visionary Snare. Oh my, go oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there's a fight, there's a fight, there's a fight going on, oh my gosh. So this is friendly. 
Like, so, um, this is, so this is friendly. I, I, I don't see how this is friendly. Not sure how this is a friendly interaction, but, um, okay. But look at this fight, though. This fight is amazing. Like, he's like, what's going on over there? <laughs> but no, this fight is amazing. Like, vampires fight like the way as humans do, but with more of a vampire effect to it, which is so cool. Oh my gosh, yes. Give me life. Give me no. Don't give me life. I love this. Like, that is like the most um, awesomest fight I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, now that I'm like seeing like face to face, it's so cool. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Yes, that's right. Lose, wannabe. Lose. You are. Look, look, let me help you up. Okay, like, good fight, good fight. No, good, good snare, good snare. Okay, they help them up when they're they are fighting. What the heck? No. Like, okay, why? I don't understand your um snares, but okay, whatever your floats your boat. It's fine with me. Oh, oh, oh! So they gain, so they gain um vampire like power points to this, towards this. That's pretty cool. So with this, it says a productive duel from a good fight. Good snaring session. Even even immortal vampires need a pr need to practice all their sweet moves if plan if the plan is to be one. Okay, that's pretty nice. And also, made a good new friend. Nice to know. And then for him, pretty much the same ones. And what's that? You also get some new um power points towards that. So that is pretty nice to know there. And active skills. So any new stuff here we can actually learn. No, 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 no. So, that is nice to know. So, I want to see what else we can actually do with the vampires. So, alert. Ooh. So, he must actually have the... What's it called? No, he only has... No, he only has the master vampire right now. So, that's something that he can only do there. We don't have any PowerPoints just yet. But, he can actually do alluring vegan mist, dark meditation, enable, and do that. So, we're going to try what this one is, actually. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Oh, no. What happened? What happened? Oh, no. What happened? Oh, oh boy. Oh, brother. What happened? Brother, tell me what's wrong. What's wrong, brother? What's wrong? But, with this right here, it looks like we got some right here. So, Vimit um, Vambrick attraction, so no one can able to resist Kayla's charm, what, no one can turn away his, his, wait, no one can turn away from his sight, oh, I love this, we're gonna chew, yeah, that's, like, yeah, you know, you know, you charming, you know, you charming, so we're gonna go ahead and go over to, since it's like 2 p.m., we're gonna go over to this sim right here, we're gonna do a vigorous run, oh, look at that, look at that, look at that, Share my aurora towards this sim right here. And what I love about this is so cool. So we're going to go ahead and actually turn into vampire. So we're going to um, seduce her. Oh, nope. She's not pleased. She's not pleased. Oh, no. So that does not work. Okay, that's fine. Well, we're going to go ahead and ask if she's single. I wonder how this kind of works. She's kind of being compelled, kind of, sort of, but not really compelled. So recall mortal life. Complain about sunlight. We can also, yeah, just complain about, recall mortal life. So how is the mortal life being for ya? Like, how is the mortal life? Can you tell me how it is? Is it great? Is it horrible? How's, how's life? So drink plasma, um, ask permission to drink? I don't know. Oh, wait, no, no, no. What's happening? What's happening? Oh, no. We need to actually go inside because right now, he might actually die from, like, sunlight. Like, sunlight. So we need to go back to our house and actually get back inside because right now we are gonna burn alive. Oh, he doesn't have enough energy. Oh no, oh no, he's gonna go ahead. So go in back inside, go back inside. Well, maybe we can actually enable it. Yeah, we're gonna enable this real quick. So let's go ahead and enable this. So we enabled it. Oh my gosh, oh heck no. Third degree burn, seek cover immediately. Quick, little time left before Caleb makes his back to the grave. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. We need to head back to the house real quick. So, um, um, go here. Go here. Yes. Go, go, Caleb. Go. Run. Run, 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 run. 
Ooh, we, oh my gosh, he made it to the house. He Okay, that is what happens when your sim gets very uncomfortable and gets very, very close to death. So we're going to go ahead and do some dark meditation to boost up his vampire energy real quick. So that is something that, that needs to be done. Man, that was really, 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 really close. So let's go upstairs and see what we could also do. So right now we do have some regular beds up here. We can actually do some deep sleep, I believe. Can we do some deep sleep? Wait, no sleep claim nap. Okay. Well, I do want to go and show you guys the animations for the the tomb. Well, not the tomb. The what's it called? The coffin. So I can show you guys what that is all about there. I'm gonna put these upstairs real quick because I do want to show you guys what that is all about and kind of see all the little animations like hand in hand and they are actually beds that you can actually use which is so flippity flip cool and since they are part of kind of a cool awesome vampire so why not go ahead and give them awesome coffins might I say so I'm gonna put the coffin like pretty much like right in the middle of the room and these are actually one of the other curtains that we came that came with the game pack too so I'm gonna put that one right there and do that. So it's gonna have one of our other sim vampires come upstairs to go ahead and actually do some vitamins run. So he is done meditating right now. He has low on energy right now, but it's all good and fine. But with the coffins for the interactions, what you can do is read um, that word, hibernate, sleep, nap, claim, or engrave this. So you can basically engrave that. So we're gonna read this and see what it's all about. What does it say? Oh, so it's empty. It's blank. So we're going to go ahead and actually hibernate. So with that, that comes with this. So and with that, your sims, your vampires can act actually um, change into their pajamas when they are this sad. And what I like about this is that Aurora is still on the sim and it makes the coffin look so much more alive. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. And then so far, so good. Nothing is pretty much new there, but I do want to go ahead and see what we can actually do. Let's see. Sleep? I don't know. Let's see what that let's see what that does. How does that work? Okay, that person's in there. Okay. Um read. We're gonna read this. It is oh, so that's that's something new. That's new. And what I like about this, your sim can't see their reflection, which is so so cool. Wait, no. We're gonna try and freshen up. Look at that, look at that. Look, she tries to freshen up, but she is, um, she can't see herself. It's like, yeah, I know. I'm cool. I'm hip. I'm amazing. Yeah, um, honey, you are a vampire. You don't see, we can't see your reflection. So, um, yeah, no luck there. No luck there at all. So that is pretty much what I can see there. But I really, really, really want to, like, oh, man, I want to, like, turn someone into a vampire so badly. But with that, I want to see what we can do with this right here. We have to basically boost up our vampire power points here. So right now it's only four, four right now. So right now, what can we do around here in this town? We can view this. This is like actually Vladimir, one of the statues, one of the higher up Sims or well, higher up vampires that are in Forgotten Grotto. So one of them are pretty, pretty cool. She's flirty. <laughs> From glamorous appearance, what appearance? You have no appearance, so stop lying to yourself. But yeah, we're going to head back outside real quick, even though we're kind of going to be a little bit toasty. Don't mind that at all. So I'm not really sure. Like, I can't, I don't know why we can't really command drink plasma, ask permission to drink. Yeah, we're going to ask permission to drink real quick. So let's ask her if we can drink her plasma. Let's see. Oh, hi. So let's see how this kind of works. Wait, yes? Oh, no. Like, no way. Keep those fangs away from me. You're crazy. Oh, Lord. My, oh, my goodness. Ugh. Man, I just want to suck your blood. Your blood's amazing. Um, we're going to command to work out. Let's see if that works. Will she work out? Is she going to work out? Is she going to work out? She's, wait, is she going to work out? I don't know. Wait. Let's see. Oh, we can. She's gonna work out. It's gonna be funny. So it doesn't have enough energy right now. Oh, yeah. Let's go back inside. Let's go back inside real quick because we are pretty much going to burn alive. So let's go ahead back to the house real quick before we go turn to a crisp. Yep, there we go. Now we're all good in the hood. So I think that's pretty, I think that's pretty much it. I, I really think that's really, really much it for right now 
for this vampire game pack overview because I don't know what else we can actually do. I know there's garlic. I know there's actually some other stuff right here. I want to boost up their cooking skill technically so let's try that cooking skill and see what that's all about there i want to look and see what other choices we can actually make make special re recipes that's something for the energize skill and we energize moodlet but the cooking stuff what we can what can we make with all the skills here so what's new what is new we can actually make not seeing anything new. I know we can't use anything that has garlic in it, which wouldn't be good for vampires. Um, so possibly a new death we can actually choose. And there's also vampire, uh, veg vegetarian vampires. So I'm not thinking there's actually any new dishes with this game pack, which is okay. But I do want to try out this toilet animation real quick because I want to try out and see what they do with the little puller stringy thing. So that's something I want to try and do with that. So let's see, where is that? Right here. So let's see what this is all about. And they also want to, let's see what other stuff came with this game pack. Even though I already did a review of it, I always want to like see what's like new, new with everything we are actually getting with the stuff I can, what interactions we can actually use. So with the vampires, the organ we tested, the coffin we tested, that was an animation. The mirror, couldn't see yourself. The fireplace, where's the fireplace at? Oh, we don't have a fireplace, oh, that's weird. Okay, that's fine. It's just a regular fireplace, that's no biggie. No biggie, that's fine. But I don't see anything else new that we can use for as interactions wise. We have the bar we can actually, that's right here. So that's pretty much it, yeah. So I'm gonna see what this interaction is for the toilet. This might be a regular toilet, maybe, but who knows? We, we can always just test and see. While well, she just does a dark meditation real quick. So I'm guessing if you like do a lot of dark meditation, you'll get more points that way. So let's see how it all works with the... Because I really want to see... I wonder if they pull this thing. <gasps> you do! Okay, that's all I wanted to see. Because I wanted to know if they were actually able to pull the, the string. So we've done our dark meditation so far. Lilith is still... Briefing from the previous dark meditation session. Hide a dark form. So we're gonna hide our dark form from us. Let's do that away from people. So I think that's pretty much it. So we can actually join a club. Okay, I want to see. I really want to see. Make create a club though. Create a club. I'm gonna add her brother because her brother is pretty cool, right? Like who didn't love her brother? So the requirements. I wonder what you can do. So no new skill. Oh, oh yeah. There was, okay, vampire skill lore. Oh yeah, so there's actually three new lot traits with this new game pack, which I really, really am happy about. So that's pretty awesome. So let's do, where is it fun and nothing here. Cause I really want to start my own vampire fight club. Not going to lie because that's pretty cool. All we do is fight and play organs and play the pipe organ. Anything vampire related, we do. Use vampire powers. Oh my gosh, yes. Drink plasma. Oh yes. Give it me. Give it to me. Lee. Socialize. Be friendly. Tell jokes. No, 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 no. Kid interactions. No. Home interactions and no. So it looks like we can actually do a vampire fight club technically because I feel like we can actually do it. So that's something I really am very, very keen for. So with the new, for the new game pack, the Sims team added a new lot traits, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So the three new lot traits for this game pack allow our Sims to basically have registered vampire layer. So this lot registers as a vampire layer. The league will send various gifts from time to time through the mail, no less. Even the immortals, immortals use the public mail service only available for the home residents. And if you guys not know that this one on ley line they also get on a dark ley line so you basically are more likely to have more teething more twins if you get the slot trait and then we also have vampire nexus a dark void envelope this lot is wait this lot is this lot in a upside down vampires are more likely to visit this area okay that's pretty nice to know so that's pretty much all we got there so we got the Register Vampire Lair on the Dark Ley Line and the Vampire Nexus. That is pretty, pretty cool. I really, really love this game pack so much. I love this raven though. I really do love that raven. So nice. So, so nice. But yeah, either way, I hope you guys 
Oh my gosh, but in the Lord. But yeah, so I hope you guys pretty much enjoyed this game pack as much as I did. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below of what you guys think of this game pack so far. Will you be purchase purchasing it yourself? Will you be creating any builds of anything at all? Let me know because I really want to know. And if you guys have any pictures at all, send me on Twitter as always. But yeah, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below your thoughts and suggestions down below in the comments. And I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye!